Hey everybody, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you a really cool way to create a slowdown effect in Logic Pro. It sounds like this. So if you're ready, let's get started. So in order to be able to do this, you need to be working with an audio file. If you're working with a MIDI file, such as this one, just so you can see in the piano roll as well, you can always convert it into an audio file by right clicking and clicking bounce in place. And now we're going to be working with an audio file. See, I've already gone ahead and created an audio file that we're going to be working with. So we're going to go ahead and delete the one that we just made. The next thing you're going to want to do is you want to get access to your fade tool. And there are actually three ways of doing this. The first way is assigning it to either your primary or secondary tool up here. I usually do secondary because I like my primary to be the pointer. You're going to click the drop down menu and you're going to select fade tool. Now, when you hold down command at the edge of a region, you have access to this little bar with arrows on either side. This is your fade tool. And it lets you fade in and out of whatever region you're working with. The second way to create a fade is through your editor window right here with the audio file that you're working with. So same thing, you have access to your primary tool and your secondary command click tool. I usually like doing secondary command click because I like my primary to be the pointer from the edge of either side of the region. What you can do is you can hold down command and you can drag as far as you want to create a fade. Same thing with the other end of the region as well. Now the third way and the best way is this and it saves you a lot of time in the long run. Notice how when you hover over the edge of a region in your main window here, it only gives you the option to loop or drag the region. But if you go to Logic Pro, Preferences, General, and you go into editing, click fade tool, click zones. Now when you hover over the edge of region, it also gives you access to the fade tool without having to hold down command or select the fade tool prior. Once you have the cursor shaped like that, you can drag and simply create a fade just like that. This way saves a lot of time. So make sure you have fade tool click zones enabled. Now what I wanna do is I wanna solo this so you can hear how the region sounds like as is. Okay, so that's the region without any sort of fade created. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the far edge of the region. We're gonna drag create a fade and we're gonna right click this fade and we're gonna click slow down. Now it sounds like this. Notice how the sound fades out and slows down at the same time. When you're hovering over the fade, notice how the cursor changes from this to this. Dragging this allows you to change the curve of the fade. So here, if I drag the fade down like that, it's gonna give me a different slowdown effect than what I previously had. And if I want a steeper one close to the end, it's gonna sound something like this. And if you wanna get rid of the fade altogether, you can right click in the faded region and click remove fades. And then you can start from scratch wherever you want. Now using the simple trick and applying to different sounds and different areas of your song, it'll allow you to create effects similar to the one that you heard me play at the beginning of this video. If you found this video helpful, please make sure you smash that like button. It really helps out my channel a lot. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification icon if you want to get notified when I post more content, and I will see you in the next one. Take care and have a great day.